right, welcome back, guys. We are talking about 30 80s metal riffs in 30 days. This is day 11, and uh, all the month of April 2023, I'll be doing a brand new video every day from an 80s metal band or artist uh, of my choice. Now, I'm taking requests. If you guys have some ideas, go ahead. But I do have a big list of stuff, and... There's definitely more than 30 to choose from, so um, it's going to be hard enough to whittle it down as it is, um, but go ahead in any case and tell me what your favorite um, 80s metal riffs are. Now, today's riff comes from 1983. This is the Swiss band uh, Crocus, and this is from the uh, 1983 Headhunter album. And the song, the riff we're looking at, is the self-titled, so the Headhunter track, which might be uh, my favorite track they've ever done. Uh, lots of good stuff on this album. It's a, I think it's a classic. Uh, <clears throat> maybe their only classic, as far as the ones they did. Um, I think every song killer on this and it has uh, Eat the Rich, Screaming in the Night, um, and a bunch of other cool stuff, too. This one's really up-tempo, straight-up classic heavy metal. And uh, it's going to be great. So I'm in standard tuning for this. Um, what else to say is that uh, tab in the description box down below, just like, just like always. And uh, make sure you check out my free Sweet Picking Guide as well. Uh, Sweet Picking Boot Camp. That's it. All right, so we are going to take a look at this riff. It's in the key of E minor. There's two guitars, left and right. Uh, the left guitar is playing a little bit more um, defined chords. So there's still a chug going on, but the chords are a little bit more defined. And you'll hear what I mean. This, the other guitar is less defined in terms of the uh, which part of the chord it's accenting more of a power chord thing this for the left the main guitar i'm going to show you here is kind of what stands out in the mix and uh it's got more of a full type of a bar chord so um you can play bar chords in metal boys and girls this is um uh, an e minor bar chord so if you take a look here on the seventh fret a string nine and nine on the d and g eight on the b and seven on the high e so you're getting that and then if you play that with a low e string you get a nice full chord. and what's happening is you're hearing this so what am i doing there First thing is I'm playing the top part of that E minor chord and then just lifting off. And notice I still have my bar here. I'm playing 7-7-7 seven, seven, seven on the D, G, and B. That's a D chord. Okay, so that's what you're hearing. Okay, and so when the riff comes in... So if I do that slow, you'll kind of see how I'm I'm really trying to hit that top part of the chord. There's a low E first. I'm not sure if it's one or two low E's. I think it starts with one low E. And then there's two after that. So what I mean is right before that starts again, there's two opens as the riff moves along. Just one to start out, I think. Sorry, I wasn't paying that close attention to that particular thing, but when it comes in, it comes in strong on that guitar part there, so. 
So after that, you're just chugging, right? So down, up, down, up. Notice it sounds different than this. And that's what the second guitar is doing. Why does it work? Well, he's still, the second guitar is still playing E, D, C. And the, the main guitar is, is emphasizing the higher notes of those chords. So works really good together. If you have a two guitar player band, it's smart to to do that sort of thing because it it uh, it widens the sound. It gives it uh, more of a stereo sound uh, when you're playing because you're not playing the exact same thing, right? So you can hear differences on both sides. Now the other chords are just C five up to E five and then down to D. So the whole riff is. There's a little climb here off of this open E. It goes open, one, two, three. So it's changing to the key of G. Fifth fret, D and G. And then it plays an F. And I think it goes back to the D and G, but anyways, I don't want to get too far into the weeds here. The main riff is the Headhunter riff I wanted to show you. So guitar two, all they're doing is uh, guitar one starts out and then guitar two comes in with. And you just mix the two together. So that's it. Uh, super cool riff from 1983, Crocus. Go check out the Headhunter album. If you haven't heard it before, I think you'll be really impressed. As uh, far as I know, they're still active. So uh, many albums later, many years later, since 1983, it's a while. 30 years? Is that 30 years or 40 years? 40 years. Wow. That's a long time. Um, they did have some down years where they weren't active, but super cool um, that they are still going. Cool band and very cool riff right here. So there you go. Check out some Crocus. Headhunter, I'll see you next time. Rock on. <laughs>